Okay, so anybody caught yesterday's video? I changed the pit guard from the gold anodized one on this Squire Deluxe Jazz Master to this torque pit guard. I also changed the pickup covers and the tone control knobs and tip of the switch to vintage cream. I was getting a bit bored of the black and the anodized pit guard. So I only had this pit guard knocking about because I ordered a mint green one. This is the colour I really wanted on it. So we're going to fit this today. I'll keep the video a bit shorter than yesterday. Um, obviously, you know, to take all these apart after yesterday's video. But just so you can see what it looks like with this mint green guard on. This was seven pound, brand new from eBay. It was shipped from China. Mint green could do with a bit more um, shielding. But, I'm only doing it today, but the Squire anodized one is sort of fully shielded. This only has a little bit, but that's something for later down the line. So I'm going to change the pots on this eventually, so I will come back to it. But for now, I'm going to take all this apart and stick the pit guard on. Okay. So these are the last bits to take off. Um, I was checking with the stock. Squire pit guard and this is exactly the same footprint um, so in terms of fitting it should be actually better than this um, Squire vintage modified one oh, I'll put some of these screws back in I'll take these last three screws out I did take them out I had to put them back in to get the um, volume and tone control knobs off Choice number three, the mint green. This was my preference for a jazz master, candy apple red with a mint green pick guard. Okay, how are we looking? Uh, yep, I think we're pretty much there with the holes. They're still not quite lined up um, just around the neck. No, we're good. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Yeah, bit of manoeuvring. That should be fine. So, I need to move this cable out of the way. Um, I need to take these pots back off because the vintage modified one was the wrong size. Um, I'm going to stick the, uh, da -da -da, the original bracket that come with a Squire Deluxe pit guard. I'm going to put this back on because that should fit perfectly on the yep on the new pit guard. So these are an American Fender Jazzmaster spec, as is the anodized one, but the Squire Vintage Modified, the holes are closer together on the tone control uh, dial, so you have to get a different bracket to fit. So if you've got a vintage modified Squire Jazzmaster, you want to stick a, an American pit guard on, American Fender pit guard, um, or original pit guard, you need to replace this bracket. Okay, so I'm going to pop this back on, and then, uh, yeah, screw it all back in. So, okay, so just putting the screws back in now, and I can confirm this is a perfect fit. Every uh, screw hole definitely lines up, so I'll put a link in the description to where I uh, to where I got this from. This was off eBay, sent from China. I can confirm they are yeah, they are a really good fit, and it's a good finish too. And again, people were. Uh, Commenting yesterday about um, a look at a guitar, and I should colour code the headstock to Candy Apple Red, which I will be doing uh, later down the line. I've got a nice decal to put on. If you've watched videos with me before, you'd have seen it, but obviously there's a lot of new people on the channel, 
I will show you what I've got in mind. All right, there you go. Let me zoom out a little bit. Candy apple red. There you go. Candy apple red with a mint green pit guard. Um, I'll quickly show you that decal. So, uh, from what I've been reading, So from what I've been reading, to paint Candy Apple red, it's actually um, an Inca Silver base coat and um, a transparent red top coat. I've seen a few people use gold base coat and um, transparent red top coat. Um, yeah, a couple of people were commenting on my little chip there yesterday. Yeah, we did that a little while ago. It's a bit of a pain, but I'll touch it up. But yeah. So when I go to paint the headstock, I'm going to do a base coat of Inca silver and then a transparent red and then a clear coat over the top. I'm going to wait till the weather gets a bit warmer and I'll do that. But uh, before I put the top coat on, I've got my Robster, see that? Meat Master decals, water slide. So I'll use one of them. Basically, this is water slide paper. You cut the logo out as close as you can to the sort of shape of it. Um, you have to soak them in water and then the, the backing peels off. You place it on the guitar, let it dry and then top coat over the top. So that will be going on the headstock when I paint it candy apple red. Right, so I'm going to get the strings on and give you a better look at this. Okay, so there she is with a mint green pit guard on. Really does look good against the... Um, uh, candy apple red and the vintage white uh, plastic hardware so let me know what you think in the comments below whether you preferred it stock with the gold anodized pit guard and the black pickup covers or we've preferred it with the tortoise pit guard and the vintage white pickup covers or my favorite the uh, mint green I really do like the 60s vintage look um, again I will eventually paint the headstock uh, Ken Apple Red and put a custom decal on there and um, later down the line I'll also change the pots and the um, uh, input jack in the cap and the freeway switch I probably won't bother with the rhythm circuit to be honest I don't really use it a lot so yeah future videos I'll be doing that and I'm, I'm also toying with the idea of going back to um, a vintage style uh, bridge to go with a 9.5 inch radius fingerboard um, these are obviously flat so the high and the low E always going to sit a little bit high of the fingerboard and I would prefer to have um, the radius to match but we'll see but yeah let me know what you think in the comments below which colour you preferred out the three um, I'll put a link up to the uh, yesterday's video so you get an idea um, of what the other colours were, but yeah, I'm digging that. That's my favourite colour. I'll keep a little close up. Really does look nice. Mint green and candy apple red. So yeah, that's me Squire Jazzmaster Deluxe. Getting a bit of a makeover there. So yeah, that will do for today. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, The Guitar Manifesto. And um, if you do subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and make sure you've got all the updates set to all so you can get all the latest videos. But yeah, that's about it now. So thanks for watching. See you all soon. Peace.